Cunningham, and this week the center of attention is the opening of the Charles James Exhibition at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Mr. James rose to prominence in New York. He spent his entire career creating fashion that has to be called soft sculpture. He was the lone eagle of fashion in a world of commercial dressmaking. He was the probably the last survivor of the vanishing splendor of couture fashion that really started on a downhill after World War I and after World War II, it was finished. And although everyone oohs and ahs over the ball gowns, Mr. James always felt his greatest work was in his the cut, construction, architecture, whatever you will, of the day coats. And also included is the loan of the single, the only one made, Mr. James, 1937, what we would call a puffer coat. It was an eider-down filled satin jacket meant for the client to wear to the opera over a dress. Speaking of opera and grand occasions, on the opening night celebration last Monday, look at the women's dresses. They were I mean, this, they were so huge, you can't imagine. They reminded me of the dresses of Visconti's ballroom scene from the movie The Leopard. It was opulent beyond you could imagine. Here, the sequence of the escort of this lady trying to slip the chair under her 40-pound dress. With 40 pounds? That's what the designer told me, at any rate. Or... Uh, this young lady here arriving with the full tool train and the great satin front. And then at dinner, I saw her, the tool train was draped over the back of her chair and she didn't realize it, but part of it was ending up in the reflecting pool where the dinner was held. And when I came back a little later and I passed by, the train had vanished. Either the woman cut it off or whatever they did, it was gone. <laughs> Everywhere you went, there was everything to deal with Charles James. It was never simple. In the 40 years that I knew Mr. James, life was never simple. It was very complex, but so is the exhibit. And it happened because the Brooklyn Museum, Arnold Lehman, the director, transferred the extraordinary Brooklyn collection to the care of the Metropolitan Museum's Harold Coda. And with it, the woman who cataloged for five years the Brooklyn collection, and especially Charles James, uh, is now an assistant at the Metropolitan, and her influence developed that whole exhibit. None of it would have happened if Mr. James's last disciple had not donated all the workroom materials, mannequins, drawings, paintings, sculptures of Mr. James. Mr. James left them to him in his will. Mr. Lang has kept them meticulously in storage for 35 years, and he has now given them as a gift to the Metropolitan. It is the most incredible documentation of a true artist's work, and that it existed in fashion is almost inconceivable.